Now, practical steps. The first, in my opinion, really practical step if you want to make this change is that you have to get the buy-in of your board of directors if you are a private organization. There is no substitute for it. And of course, that comes to strategic planning. Strategic planning really is the subject of an entire day-long seminar in itself. So it's not something I can spend a great deal of time on, but it is a crucially important element. We did strategic planning that really charted a complete change in our organization's direction in way back in 1998. That was when we made the decision to become No Kill as an organization and when we made the decision to dedicate ourselves to achieving an adoption guarantee community. We have engaged in strategic planning every four to five years since then, and I believe that that is absolutely essential to private organizations running well. You must engage in regular strategic planning. You must have a strategic plan that has been approved as a consensus by your board of directors. If you don't, there is no way you can know what your vision and direction is. There's no way you can possibly know what your priorities are. There's no way that you can make good choices in terms of budgeting and allocation of your resources unless you know what the vision of your board of directors is. So the first step, if you really want to move in an adoption guarantee direction, is to engage in strategic planning with your board. Uh, and. It is never a safe process. Um, it always has challenges because you a little bit don't know where it will go, but for us, it went to the direction of our board approving a adoption guarantee mode, and that has changed everything for us. Part of the process is, is as I say, challenging, and that is because getting 100% buy-in from your board and, frankly, from your staff isn't likely. It is a courageous, it is a big change, and <clears throat> that means that getting everybody to agree is tough. So what I think is important is to learn to get comfortable with the fact that getting most people on your side is what you need, and being tenacious. More on that later. Once your board has adopted an adoption guarantee change, the next thing that is crucially important is to get that message out to, to your community in a way that will help you advance your agenda. That means very carefully and in a very thought through way proceeding to get the message across to each group that needs to hear it. The first group that needs to hear it from you, not from anyone else, is your donors and your staff and your volunteers. Be sure that you are ready with respect to this change or frankly any other change to explain to that group of people, donors, staff, and volunteers, what the change is going to be, why you believe it will save materially more animal lives, and how you foresee it unfolding. Because getting them on your side is enormously important. Next, you want to get the support of others in your community. Most every community I know of has opinion leaders, people who are held in very high regard in your community. And what is so important is for you to get the support of those opinion leaders who can sway others in your community very effectively. So go to them, go to them individually, explain what you're planning to do, work to get those folks on your side, then present it to the public. And we all know how that has to happen, distilled into very short, very clear expressions of what you are doing. Always the focus is on how many animal lives you're going to save. That's got to be your focus and how you are going to accomplish it. And I guess lastly, I think in convincing the public, one of the things that I have come to realize is so true is really a new true supporter is ever so much more valued, valuable to you than a mollified critic. So. It is really easy to spend all your time focused on the critics and trying to change the critics. And believe me, changing the critics is hard. The more effective thing is to direct yourself to the people in your community who simply are not educated yet, don't understand yet. But if you express this adoption guarantee message to them 
clearly, understandably, and you show them how it means that more animals are going to get to live, you will win them over. And then you will have an enormous base of true, honest, heartfelt supporters in your, in your community. And that will do you ever so much more good than a few mollified critics. <laughs>